G'day guys, it's Swatcher here with another How to Build, and today oh, we're continuing off where we were last week with Springfield Elementary. Now, in case you've forgotten, what we need to do is grab ourselves some smooth stone. I will need some blue stained clay. Some glass panes, wherever they are. Some sandstone slabs. Uh, slabs, slabs, slabs. I might also take the jungle wood there. Jungle leaves. And a potion of swiftness. And a potion of night vision. Alright, so we're going to continue on this side here. So, it's just like last week, whatever I built this side. It's going to be an exact same on that side, so it's just mirrored. But first things first, we'll start with a smooth sandstone. And where we've got this row here of what we built last week, we're going to go one back, and then we're going to go across. Now we want to go 5, 10, 17 across, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Just don't actually need that one there. And we're just going to go up a couple of rows here. It doesn't matter how high, just a few just to get us started. And we'll do a second row across the bottom. Like so. From there, we're going to swap to our blue stained clay. And because we've got the two gap here at the bottom, and two on the side, we can then build our windows from last week, which is the exact same dimensions, which is five across. An extra five out the front. And it's seven high, which includes that one at the back. So we've already got one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Whoops. From there, we want to do our two rows of panes. Or glass blocks, whatever you're using. With a row of clay on top. And then a row coming down in the middle. With the rest filled in with panes. And then we're just going to fill in the rest with smooth sandstone. So we've got a nice little border like that. Now, going from this window here, we actually want to do three rows of sandstone to the left. Now, I've just done one there, so I'll add two more in. Pretty straightforward. And from there, what we want to do is we want to make another window exactly like that in here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, with an extra five in front. We want it to be seven high. Whoops. Do a line in the middle, line in the middle, fill it all in with panes. And trace around with sandstone. But we've got this extra row here, so we'll do an extra row next to it. And an extra row on top. So that way you've got a nice border of two all the way around the windows. It's pretty straightforward. But now, we need to do a Hedge line, like that there. So, whoops. That actually worked. I did want to put it there, but you know. Juice, 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 juice. 
So this is merely for my purposes. I have to do a second row like that because I'm floating in the sky. Oops. So your, for you guys, your pieces will actually go like that straight away if you're digging it into the ground. Whereas mine won't. Again, downside of building in the sky. And then I just want another piece. There. Whoops. One there. One there. Because I will actually put a tree there later on. But, for the time being, we're going to move around. Whoops. I want one screenshot moved to the side. Now this is very easy, okay? We, are you guys listening? This is very, very difficult. We want to go 15 across that way, which includes that one. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we want to go 11 high, which includes that one. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now here's the tricky part. you just got to fill that whole thing in with sandstone. That's it. And I know what some of you might be thinking. Some versions of Springfield have a window on the side. Some of them have four windows on this section going out. Like I said, I based this off the one that's in the Simpsons Tapped Out game, so... In their version, they only go across two windows there, and there's no window on the side here. But going back and watching the TV series, they changed it like that in the TV series as well. So, again, it just falls down to personal preference. Do you want this to have four windows across and be bigger and have one on the side? Do you just want it to have four windows across and no windows on the side? Or do you want to have it like how I've got it? Like I said, it's completely up to you guys, but... This is just how I'm doing it. Okay. So from there, we'll actually add one there and come out at one. Because we then want to trace around what we've just built. Making sure we're that extra one high or one out. And if you did that correctly, that line there that we've just built should match up with that line sticking out there. But with this line here, we want to swap to our sandstone slab and do a row on top of that. Why didn't I do the back wall? I mean, the back wall doesn't matter. I mean, it's exactly the same anyway as the front, so... We'll do a second row there. We'll do a couple of rows just to get us started. Because this, is, like I said, this is exactly the same as the front of what we've just built. So we've got our two rows there. We've got our two rows there. So that means we've got to put a window in. So that means swapping to our blue stain clay. And just adding the same window in again. So that's five across, and seven high, four, five, six, seven. With a line in the middle, and a line in the middle. So we're going to add two panes there, and two panes there, with two rows of panes here. Or just regular glass, like I said, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to use. And then we just want three rows of sandstone next to that window. So we can build another window. You know, for a, a decent sized build this is, it's actually pretty easy.
just wish my capture card would work that easily and not just drop frames like it just did like three times in 30 seconds. <sighs> It'll get there one day. But anyway, we want to put an extra two rows off of that window with the two rows on top, like we've done. And then we just want to continue this around the outside. Whoops. So it matches up nice and flush with that. And we just want to put our row of slabs on top of that as well. So from what we're going to do there, is we're then going to go into our inventory. We're then going to grab out the hardened clay. So this isn't a coloured one, it's just the standard hardened clay. We can then consume a potion of swiftness. Swap back to our hardened clay. And where we've got this row of sandstone that's sticking out, we're just going to build off of that to do our roof. And the slabs act as like the little lip of the roof. And we're just going to do that back and forth. Until we've got this whole section filled in. Yeah, so I'm just going to finish off one there because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to build a wall here in a second. So, I don't need that one. Oh, something I did forget. What don't I need? I might ditch the slabs. Very quickly, we want to go into our inventory, break out the cobblestone wall. And w at the front here, we've got these two windows. The first row of sandstone here, we're going to come down and we want to come out seven. So we've got one with the bush, two that's missing, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the eighth one, we want to place sandstone there. I mean the, not sandstone, cobblestone fence. And we want to go 28 into the air. Actually, you know what? I might go out one more. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. That's all we need that for. Thank you. Because that's the flagpole, obviously. Okay. Let's put a wall in this side, and I reckon that can just about count us for today's video. After I put in the other side. So to make life easy on, on how to get this right, we'll swap to our sandstone block. And where we've got this row here, that's sticking out with the sandstone slabs, we just want to carry that on around the side here, coming off the blue stained clay. So it's nice and level. See? And with our sandstone block, we want to go 17 that way. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then we want to add a row of sandstone slabs on the top, like we've been doing. We can then swap back to where sandstone, because just like the other parts here, we've got that part sticking out. The wall part will be sitting one back in. So we're sitting back in there like that. So I'm just going to do one row to the other side. And one row going down. So from there, we've actually got two rows here now. 
and one row down. So that's what we want, because then we can swap to a blue stained clay and we can add another window in. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two, three, four, five across. So it's the same standard window design as before. Whoops. Just don't forget to add your window seal like I just did there. Which reminds me, did I do them down here? I did. Alright, from there we can swap back to our smooth sandstone. And we want to do three rows off this window. So we've got our three rows. And then from there, we'll add another window in. Two, three, four, five. And seven high. From there, we can just fill the rest in with smooth sandstone. Oop. And we'll have two rows of smooth sandstone going underneath. Whoops! And then just to continue the pattern across, we'll swap to our sandstone slab and where we've got it going here we'll do a row against this wall and we'll line it up with the other side there so you should have a nice closed in space like that and not forget your window seal just like that but just to finish it off where we've got our blue stained clay row there coming off of this pylon, we want to do the same thing at this end. And same on the other side, this is just going to go straight to the ground. Whoops! Because when we build the back part next week, there will probably be a row right there that goes up. So just before we do go, we'll finish off this roof. Now, on this side of the roof, what we want is to clear our inventory. We'll grab out the cobblestone wall again. And looking from the front to the back, what we want to do is we want to come from this back corner where we want to come one in. And then four across. So we've got one, two, three, four. So on the fifth one, boosh, boosh, we'll go too high like that. We will then break out. Hmm, where is it? Stone brick stairs. Slabs. Ah, uh, doesn't really matter what you use in the middle, but I'm going to use grey wool. Okay, and what we want to do? This is going to get a little bit tricky. I'm going to swap to my grey wool first. And from this corner, I want to come three across. So if there's three. And on the fourth one in, I want to go up four. So I've got one, two, three, four. So that's the fifth one. I want to go up and place a grey. And then one diagonally in. So with the one diagonally in, I'll smash that one. I want to swap to my stone brick stairs, look at the top of that grey block, because I want to place an upside down stairs off of it. Now I want to go another three to the left, so that way I've got a row of four, and then I want to go around the corner, 
like that, and I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I want to have a row of seven long. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, seven. And because this is a nice little rectangle, I want to make this go back down. Dang, I thought that was off. I'm off by one. I knew I'd stuff this up. Upside downstairs just messed with me. One, two, three, four. Right. So then we can fill this with whatever we want. I'm just using grey wool. And then we can cover the whole thing with slabs. Because this is just designed to look like the top of the AC unit. Yep, four in by three. So it looks just like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to have a quick pause while I go build this side over there. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, and then we'll, that'll be enough to wrap up this week's video. Okay, and the back. And as you can see, what I've done on that side, I've copied onto this side, except for what's on the roof. Now, there's a slight difference on this side of the roof. Um, this side, all you need to do is grab out some cobblestone wall. And in this corner here, we're going to go one across and three up. And then we're just going to place two there, miss a gap, and place another two, and that's it. Now one thing I did forget to mention is um, keep going along with your hedge bushes around the outside there, except as you can see in the corners, I haven't placed any there, because I will be placing trees. Now, it doesn't matter what sort of trees you place there, I'm going to be putting the spruce ones. Yeah, spruce ones those ones. But that's what you should have at the moment. Nice and finished and flushed because like I said it's exactly symmetrical. What you do on one side you do on the other. So there we go. That will wrap it up for this week's video. So if you do like this video make sure you smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't and if there's anything you'd like to see built drop it in the comment section below and I'll see you guys again next week to finish this bad boy off.